what I want to talk about today is how well today I don't this will probably be posted a couple days from now probably about four to five days from when I'm recording so what I'm about to say will most likely change in that four to five days but this is just a quick update following the video I posted today which is about finding out your ex, the parent, was about to drink and drive. So that's the video I'm addressing this video on. I talk in circles, guys. I hope you can keep up with me. I'm not good with my words. It sounds great in my head, but when I try to speak it out and explain it to somebody, my wording just sucks okay so right i went and picked them up because i could hear the dad's voice was drunk i i i knew he was drunk so i get there he's not answering the phone because apparently he fell asleep he fell asleep while my child is up on his own and see if i were to fall asleep with my kid by me I know I know that I have everything like child proof meaning if I fall asleep I can sleep in peace knowing okay there's nothing he can touch nothing he can do like there's nothing that will harm him in any way but can I say the same for the dad <laughs> absolutely not I've told them a million times he always has loose change coins right even though my little one is like smart enough he he's gotten it because i've told him over and over and over again not to put things in his mouth i've never seen him take a coin to his mouth but he's a kid he's curious it, it could happen any second his dad has coins all around at all times coins um uh, scissors like uh, nail clippers like uh, I don't know what else to say just there's the, the coins is a main example because I can remember it it's something that irks me so much and he's gonna fall asleep at, and it's not even at his own house it was at his dad's house so his grandpa's house so you know that there it's not child proof at all like who knows what what there is around that he could touch that could harm him in any way and you're gonna get drunk and fall asleep the one time you take him the one time the one time like you you barely take him probably once or twice a month is when he takes him like without me around once or twice a month that's it I, and like i'm not exaggerating that's it and you're gonna get drunk out of the 30 days in the month you're gonna get drunk that scared me you're gonna get drunk when your baby is with you and you're gonna drive drunk when your baby is with you I'm getting pissed off thinking about it and yesterday as I was uploading the video of that moment when I went to go pick him up as I was watching it I started to cry again because it's it's just so sad and so messed up that somebody has to go through this okay I will I'm not gonna let him go through what I went through when I was a kid what how my dad took away my childhood innocence my uh, like at seven or eight again I think I was seven so we're just gonna say I was seven at seven for me to think I'm gonna die do you know how that changes your like thinking of life at seven you think you're gonna die I'm, I'm gonna try not to cry right now because it's coming up I will never allow my kid to feel that way 
I will never allow him. I will always protect him. I don't care if I get killed in the process because you never know how the other parent can just snap one day and want to get rid of you because you want to protect your kid. So if anything were to ever happen to me, you guys know who's responsible for it because I'm not a, when it comes to my kid, I am no punk, I'm no pushover, I'm not going to stay silent, he can hit me, he can kill me, he can do whatever he thinks he needs to do, but me, for me to live the right life the right way, I'm always going to stick up for my kid no matter who it is, no matter who it is, no matter what I have to do, and that's that, so... So this was, what is today? Today is Wednesday, right? So he took him Monday. He took him Monday. It's Wednesday. He he was probably so drunk. He slept all of, like, he slept that night on Monday. So he never, like, reached out to me on Monday. Never reached out yesterday. Nothing. No text, no call. Usually he'll text or call to talk to him or ask how he's doing or to give him a kiss nothing yesterday and as of right now it's 3 3 30 p.m wednesday still nothing for him so he must know what he did and he's feeling embarrassed and he's feeling embarrassed and that's why he's not messaging He's, he's probably thinking, oh, let me give it a few days so she doesn't go off on me. Boy, little does he know, the minute he reaches out to me, I am going to go off on him. This is not something I'm just going to sweep under the rug and let it go. I am going to go the fuck off on him. I am. And I don't care. I'm just so tired of his excuses and his moping. He's a grown man just constantly crying about the struggles in his life i'm not struggling i'm not struggling i'm not making the money i was making two years ago it went down big time and as i started making that money i took on more financial um responsibilities that now I'm just like drowning in because I'm not making the money I used to make and you know every day I'm thinking how am I going to do it next month you know but I try not to stress about it because again this is my belief you guys don't have to believe it it's my belief but God has always taken care of me I'm not I'm not super religious never read the bible i will be honest never read the bible and honestly when people like say things from the bible my attention span yeah baby my attention span like i can't keep up with it i just it's just not my thing i'm not i'm not super religious okay but yes i believe in god in jesus christ yes i believe in all that I don't pray like, you know, how other people pray. I don't even know how other people pray. I, in my head, I think people get on their knees by their bed and they put their hands together and they pray. That's not how I do it. I usually just, at night when my baby is asleep, I talk out loud to God. I look up at the ceiling. Yeah, baby. I look at the ceiling and I say what I'm praying for that day. Or in my head, like... I could be driving right now and praying in my head. That's how I do it. But I absolutely believe God has always, like, he's never, never, never let me down. Yeah, bad things have happened. And you know what I, what? That moment, I would get upset. And then I would tell myself, you know what? It happened for a reason. It does. It happened for a reason. And God's going to do something better for me. There's a reason why this shitty thing happened. Because God has something better in store for me. Like an example. My car. 
right now i'm in a brand new car i got a few months ago why because something <laughs> shitty happened my yeah he's only talking because i'm talking my car was stolen right i woke up i went outside i woke up i went outside <laughs> you know i had my wallet and my keys ready to go get starbucks and i'm like i go outside and i'm scratching my head like um wasn't my car like parked right in front and i'm thinking baby baby can mommy talk please and i'm thinking like why wouldn't my mom move the car usually if i park in the driveway and it's the weekend then i get it because they need to go out somewhere and use their car that makes sense but my car was parked on the street so there would be no reason for my mom to move the car so i just stood there for a second dumbfounded like like where where's my car like is somebody playing a prank on me because my keys are in my hand you know and then like it registered somebody stole my car and i asked my mom mom did you move my car like why would you move my car and she's like no it was right there i'm like well it's not here but anyway long story short my car was stolen and it sucked yes it sucked big time right because i had just finished paying off my car i had it was a new car monthly payments for about six years i had just finished it it was such a relief to have extra money to spend on whatever you know paying off don't have to worry about that bill no. you can spend that money some other way and for it to get stolen and i was without a car for a month which sucked and that first day it happened i was so sad mad pissed i was crying and then the next day i was like you know what i had talked about how it's time to kind of get a new car because i needed a bigger car it was a compact car and it wasn't i feel like it wasn't running that great so again there's a reason it happened maybe god made that happen so that i could have that push to get a new car maybe god made that happen because i could have been going somewhere with that old car and it broke down in the middle of somewhere and something bad happened you know what i mean and that's how i took it the following day i was like you know what it's gonna be okay i'm gonna get a new car you know i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna it's gonna be figured out the world's not gonna end and that's how i try to think about things the world is not going to end you will figure it out you will figure it out and I, I just don't get how his dad just doesn't think this way. He's, but he is a grown man. If I can do it as a woman, as a single mom whose kid is with her 24-7, and I can figure out how to get a new car, how to pay for my new car, how to pay for my bills, then he can do it too. He can do it too. And you know what? I've stopped reminding him about sending money for his kid every month because i don't need his money i don't ever want to rely i've never wanted to rely on anyone especially a man especially a man because they just shove it in your face yeah he should be sending money because i'm the one who buys him the food the diapers the everything and it adds up it adds up and he should be he should be i believe he should be but am i gonna remind them no i don't want a penny from him if he sends it he sends it great but i'm not gonna remind them and if you ladies if you can do it on your own do it on your own you don't want that uh negative energy from them uh, to shove it in your face oh well i sent money it's not only about money be there for your kid be a good parent. Don't get drunk on the one day you have them out of the month for a few hours. A few hours. Anyway, that's my update. 
he hasn't reached out to say anything and when he does i sure as hell am going to bring it up i'll see if i can record it screen record it to give you guys an idea we'll see but that's it on the update if, again if you listen this far thank you i appreciate it i'll keep you guys updated make sure you subscribe i know i know it's so annoying to hear keep, creators keep saying subscribe 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 but you kind of have to because if you don't say it people don't subscribe so make sure you subscribe Bobby, though. can mommy talk thank you say it subscribe uh-huh what else make sure you like and subscribe and then Good job, baby. What he said. Hi, everyone. So here's the update on the whole finding out my <clears throat> that my child's dad was going to drive him home drunk. So it happened on Monday, and then I didn't allow it to happen. I there's a whole part one, part two, so go watch that so it makes sense. And so that incident happened on Monday night. He did not call or message Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, zero crickets, nothing from him. And then Wednesday, wait, no, Thursday night, he messaged me saying, how ashamed he felt and he was embarrassed and apologizing so he knows what he did and he was wrong but it just keeps happening that's the issue it's not like oh it happened i'm sorry and saying i'm not gonna do it again and literally not do it again it just keeps happening so we had a whole conversation I was pointing out how you do this, you do that. Like I've given chance after chance and like, how am I to trust? How am I to trust? How am I to trust him with you? And then, yeah, and he agreed. So that was Thursday, today's Saturday. He did not call or message Friday or today. I guess he's taking it hard, as he should, so he can learn his lesson, but he should call and talk to his son. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. Subscribe, talk to you guys soon about it again.